Hey, what's up, YouTube? Damien again. I wanted to talk to you about a question that was asked to me about people that want a lot of thin hair. This young man has some of the thin hair, which he's mixed with a number of things like white, Indian, and a couple of things on the Irish, and a number of other things. But that's not an issue. As long as he still has a curl pattern, I can still get in here with my solution and the comb and formulate the locks in where I want them to be, how I want them to come out. Now, for those that have the thinner, straighter hair, and you're worried about the locks coming loose, or at times you have the locks that come loose, uh, what I want you to be cautious of is what you're tying your hair up with at night. One thing that we, you need to implement your tying your hair up is satin. Do rags are cool, stocking caps are cool, but because they have holes of ventilation in them, once taken off those, those items, can pull little hairs out of the locks, out of the starter locks, and that can cause freeziness and some of the other stuff that people aren't liking and don't want to see. And also, you don't really have to wear the do-rag that long also with this kind of style and with this solution I'm using. Gels and other things of the sort when put into this kind of hair will not also make the hair lock. Once it dries, that freeziness will come into play. Hairs that are straighter and less, has less of a curl pattern or more at an equal curl pattern with the straightness, you're, you're the first ones to get frizzy, like the first ones. And frizziness, again, it's just that dry hair. So that's why I implement the sprays and different things inside of my solution and the oils and all of that so that you don't have that frizziness. Now, he's going to tie it up nightly with a satin scarf, which will help him hold the moisturization into the scalp. Um, someone asked me, will these twists and locks fill in? Yes, they will. That's another reason why I use a comb and I do not finger coil my locks. So with the comb, I'm making it uniform off the top. I'm combing every single hair into the twist the exact same way. And if you look at it, you can see the wave of the twist going into each other together. With this, as the hair sheds, as it falls out inside of the shaft that you are building, it will fall in and stay inside of that. That's the purpose of using the comb versus finger coiling. Finger coiling, once those things are done and it's not uniform and done on the inside correctly, once those hairs fall out, it will come straight out of it and you will not have the lock to come together as you want it to. So, make sure that you are going straight through those hairs when starting. Comb all the way through each and every last twist. There should be no reason why your twist looks congruent in the beginning and in the ends look like you just smashed them together. If you have to hold putties and gels and all of that into your twist just to make it work, you are not <laughs> combing that twist through. It is not a thorough twist and it will probably most likely not start your lock consistently as you would desire it to be. It's effortless, it's easy, it doesn't take that much to go in, comb those hairs through and make those twists go. So, leave out the holding stuff like the beeswax and all the muds in the jar. I guarantee you they will not get you here. They will, your hair will not be able to hold off the top like this. Just from spraying, I can put this on here. Do what I'm going to do, twist it up real quick, put him under the dry 15 minutes and go. Again, as time goes on, as he ties his hair up nightly, those hairs will come together. It will fill in and you will not have an issue. So make sure that your hair is very, 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 very thoroughly done and make sure that the right products and different things are put in there. For those that have softer hair like this, I would not implement any holders, any harsh sprays, any oil shings with alcohol or anything of the sort of the sort, excuse me. So check me out for more. More questions, thoughts, concerns. Hit me up. Peace.